This is Dr. Newhouse taking the time to show you how we do an ingrown toenail surgery in the office. Uh, first, we give you a shot using lidocaine. It's a numbing medicine. Puts your toe to sleep for a couple hours. Give you two simple sticks back behind the big toe joint. If you ever have somebody that wants to give you a shot up around the toenail or under the toenail or between the toes, go running. This is the proper way to numb up a toe or a finger. You do it in the back where the nerves are. It makes everything forward to that point numb. Uh, this is one of the keys to having a painless experience when you do this. This is the only part that hurts is that shot and it's just for a minute. We take a little betadine, clean up the toe. Uh, one thing you got to be careful of is uh, infection with ingrown toenails. It's not uncommon to have an infection so try to keep the environment as clean as possible before we do the procedure. After your toe is numb, we check it before we do anything. See, we squeeze, make sure that you don't have any sharp sensations. Then we use what's called a tourniquet. It's a little form of a tourniquet made especially for toes and fingers. Uh, make sure they don't have any blood while we're doing the procedure. Then we loosen up the nail, uh, free up the edge that's a problem. Take a little clipper, clip the nail. Then we'll use a little blade and we cut the nail back all the way underneath the skin to expose the root. Once the root is exposed, um, then we can go ahead and treat it, make sure that it doesn't come back. So there you can see we're clipping the uh, nail all the way back underneath the skin. Here we pull it out. We've got a nice, healthy piece of nail. Most of the nail is down underneath the skin. Again, we want to have a nice, cosmetic, uh, cosmetically pleasing nail uh, so that if you're a female, you can still paint the nail. Nobody will ever know you have this procedure done if it's done uh, properly don't want to take too much nail but at the same time you have to take enough that you don't have to worry about it uh, growing back. You got to clean out the edge, uh, scrape the root um, using what looks like a little melon baller. Uh, it's a little curette is the medical name for that instrument. And then you can see the edge of the nail there. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> then clean up any blood that's in the area with a little, uh, uh, little q-tip. Then we take phenol. Phenol is a strong acid which creates a burn. It creates a burn down in the root. We uh, use three separate applications. There's lots of different ways to, to kill the root. I find that this is the most effective uh, for me. Uh, we have very little recurrence. I like to say this is my 98% procedure. 98% of the time there's no problems or complications. It doesn't come back. Uh, people are very, very happy with the outcome of the procedure. Um, the majority of the time. Uh, we do put you on an antibiotic um, that you take by mouth because toenails are dirty, they can get infected. Uh, this will uh, prevent infection. Uh, again, you can see we're making sure that that root gets bathed in this acid. Um, the acid has a numbing effect on the surrounding nerves as well, so there's very little pain with this procedure. Uh, you should not need um, strong narcotic pain medicine uh, my recommendation is take over-the-counter Tylenol or ibuprofen or combination, whatever you take for a headache. should be enough to relieve any discomfort that you have after this procedure. Uh, it really is a great, great procedure. And that is it. You are done. Once we're done, you can see the final result. Take the little tourniquet off. Um, we apply a, a light bandage. Uh, Try to keep it small, one small piece of gauze and what we call coban, and you should be able to get right back into the same shoe that you came in the office with. Um, keep the bandage on for uh, the day. I usually have people take it off at night before they go to bed and uh, replace it with a little banded, uh, band aid and some antibiotic cream that we provide in the office. I use what's called a Marigel, which is a great uh, healing cream. Please visit our website if you have any other questions or uh, comments about this procedure. Again, uh, it's one of the favorite, my favorite things to do is uh, removing grown toenails because the success rate is so high. People are typically very pleased with this procedure.